Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 171. I am your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog Carnazzo. <laughs> I think Tracy needs some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting a little bit giggly. I see that. You're very fun today. Thank you so much. We're here to talk about Teen Mom 2 Season 10, Episode 10, and 16 and Pregnant Season 6, Episode... Is it 5? It is 5. Yeah, Yeah. it's 5. It is 5. Okay, anything before we start? Like, any uh, overall thoughts about these two episodes? Um, This was a 16 and Pregnant that I enjoyed watching. It hasn't been, like, the last few weeks. Correct. Um... Teen mom is dying. No offense. It's dying. It needs to go. So this is what I need them to do. MTV, you know you listen to the podcast. Uh-huh. So here's the thing. Yeah. Um, I want you to choose uh who you want and just have teen mom. Totally agree. Like okay, take so I would who like you want. Yes, tell me your dream team. Tell me. Okay. Jade and Kale. Uh-huh. Uh Brianna. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Then I want from OG, obviously Amber, right? Who else from OG? Okay, I Cheyenne was whatever. No, um, don't care. Kate and Tyler, I'm over them. Nope. Uh, don't care. Macy and Taylor, don't I care. Mean, no. Uh, is that's it from from team? Okay, OG, so can we just replace Leah? Uh, no, Leah, um, Amber with Chelsea. Chelsea with Amber. So Chelsea's off, obviously. So yeah. if you guys haven't heard the news, Chelsea quit uh-huh. and she won't be on the next season. So why don't we just put Amber on Teen Mom 2, call mm-hmm. it Teen Mom, and then just cancel OG. Yeah, I wish. That would be wonderful. Okay. You're welcome, MTV. Uh, that was an entire <laughs> year worth of meetings that you guys also, were going to have. never get rid of Young and Pregnant. Never. Never get rid of specifically Rachel. I need Rachel. Yes. Also... Young and pregnant, by the way, I don't know if you guys are like keeping up. I don't like I, I should I should dive a little deeper into the gossip, but I kind of scroll through it. Uh, Brianna with two ends. Yes. Brayson's mom has Brayson has a new dad. OK, I saw this in passing, but I just I didn't really look into. Right. That's it, what I'm saying. Like you. it was yep. just in passing. And I was mm-hmm. like, good for Brayson. Honestly, like some kids have no dads. Uh huh. He's only two or three and he's had 17 dads oh he's had way more dads than me he's had way more dads than most people yes agreed Mm -hmm. and you know just saying all right let's jump into teen mom 2 season 10 episode 10 um yeah i don't really have much housekeeping just listen you know what i do have one housekeeping tell me Patreon, P A T R E O N <laughs> dot com slash trash talk podcast. You will get literally mm-hmm. over 200 mm-hmm. bonus episodes. And I know that because I had to go into each single file mm-hmm. and update everything the other night. And it oh, took me yeah, you did. four hours. So that's how I know there's over 200 episodes mm-hmm. of bonus content. Um, you know, there's some free merch involved. Also, Pop sockets back in stock. I know I've said it before. Uh-huh. People ask me. Oh, pop, pop sockets sock are the tits. I love them. Changed my life. Not not because it's a teen mom pod. You know, just the fact that it's a pop socket. Yeah, hell yeah. I never, I never had, one, had one. No, me either. I never had one. And now um, I like hold my phone without dropping it on my head at night. <laughs> I haven't had a fat lip in <laughs> two years. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. I haven't been bleeding from my mouth in yes. bed. In mm-hmm. almost two years. That's very good accomplishment, Tracy. <sighs> You're <laughs> welcome. Thank you, Pop Socket. Uh, <laughs> let's start with Chelsea. All right. So uh, Aubrey's getting braces tomorrow. So they're going to buy her four million packs of candy. Okay. Like, so they do this. I've never had braces. They do this because you can't have candy while you have braces, You can't have right? sticky, can- like chewy, sticky candy because you'll literally pull the rubber bands off. Like it oh. sticks to it and you can't have gum. So here's the thing. Instead of getting them for her the evening before braces, mm-hmm. why not like a few weeks before braces? Yeah, that's weird. Why not? the Why the day before? I mean, the girl's going to get juvenile diabetes seriously all at once i love sugar and i can't have that much sugar at once but because also everything she doesn't finish she's Mm -hmm. not going to be able to eat 
and then she's going to be sad. That sucks. So that's why I feel like maybe a week. Okay. Anyway, um, she screams to the top of her lungs when she gets the candy, which is why I know she's going to be disappointed if she can't pound this candy down. Agreed. I would be disappointed too. Mm -hmm. So she's going to the orthodontist the next day. She's getting old school silver braces. But is there another type? I don't know. Of course. I Hello, Noel. Were we even friends? I had porcelain braces. Do you know? I know you had braces. In my mind, you had regular braces. Mm -mm. I had braces from the time I was 12 to the time I was 17. Right. I remember you having braces, but I feel like you were that bougie bitch that had braces that go with every outfit like pink ones purple ones okay so the so i had um porcelain braces they match your teeth right but then you still have the metal wire across it right i remember this Mm -hmm. um and then you can get rubber bands like for different colors right but it looks like they're just floating on your teeth because oh okay well that makes sense yeah and then if you got the yeah, if you got the clear rubber bands, though, mm-hmm. and you ate sauce, right, like tomato sauce, they would turn like orange. Like my Tupperware does. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yep. So I'd be like, I need white rubber bands. Oh, that's it was so really funny. That actually makes sense. See, right, I don't so know. T- I never had braces. I know. And now I'm going to be getting braces again because I'm getting Invisalign in a few weeks. Oh, okay. So Invisalign is basically for adults. Like kids don't get Invisalign. Kids don't get Invisalign because you could take them off and uh, they're going to take them off. They're okay. never going to wear them. Okay. So that's what's happening. So anyway, Chelsea Grace comes to keep Chelsea, regular Chelsea company. Chelsea Grace comes to keep Chelsea Hope company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. She brings Starbucks for her and for Chelsea and not for Aubrey. Okay, not even that. Like, just I want you to just explain her style to me. I'm so over this hair. I'm over it. I'm over the Glenn Close look. Like, I'm so (laughs) over this. I really am. I will not be ignored, Dan. (laughs) But you know what? I like that yellow jacket she has on. I like a yellow Patagonia jacket. (laughs) I just feel like, okay. Having had braces for most of my life. Yes. Which was mm-hmm. a sin. I'll tell you, it was a sin. My orthodontist really fucked up. Yeah, I don't you're not know. Supposed to have bra- you're not supposed to have braces for five years. How long years. do you usually have them? I don't know. Not five years, though. Yeah, that's a long time. That seems like a long time. <laughs> well, it was very dreadful. Yeah. Um, so the, the one thing I will tell you is that your teeth do not feel good, especially the first night. Uh, on them because you're sore right like you have to get used to it noel your teeth are literally turning like okay i got my braces on my teeth are straight like almost all the way straight within a month wow so then why the hell were they on for five years well because you have (laughs) to keep them on well i had to have like a palate expander and that like i had like this whole thing sure No, but like they keep your braces on for so long because they have to keep your teeth in place. But palate expander. Oh, well, I needed a bigger mouth. My mouth is very little like a mouse. Oh, a palate expander. I just fainted. That sounds Uh, sounds like a torture device. And then what happened is every time I went, they would make the palate expander bigger. So it was it was cemented into my mouth. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it opened it got bigger and bigger so what they would do is they would take this key right and put it into my there was a a piece of metal and they would crank it and it would make the palate expander bigger like they would do like three cranks and then like my whole entire mouth would ache until you got used to it and then like the next week they would crank it more so i wanted to speed up this process so i realized that if you put like um like a very big sewing needle in it you could actually crank it. So I used to just crank it like every day. My and now world I have a big mouth. just faded to black. Like I am not. I was well. trying to speed up the process. I remember I got a Novocaine needle in the roof of my mouth and I thought that was intense. I love a good Novocaine needle. I don't I, like the Novocaine, but I like the feeling of the needle. Can we trade mouths? Like I <laughs> wish that I loved the feeling of Novocaine. No, well, my mouth is little like a mouse. Yeah, apparently you need your palate expanded. <laughs> I am not well. <laughs> ah, you can't believe you didn't know that. No. But it's like what I'm saying is friends. Your your mouth is like in 
so much pain. Oh, I it's can like imagine. your teeth went to the gym, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> the so, teeth worked so. out. Uh huh. So, you know, I got to tell you, a nice frosty beverage mm. would have been so soothing. But, you know, Aubrey, too bad. Chelsea Grace didn't only got one for Chelsea Hope. Oh, God. What dumb name. All right. Okay. Are they stepsisters? Yes, right? What? I thought Chelsea Grace and Chelsea Hope <laughs> were stepsisters. I IDK. thought. All right, I don't know. Maybe I'm all the way wrong, but this is what I thought. All right. Well, guess what? Mm-hmm. Why don't uh, people that are smarter than us go into our group on Facebook and tell us? <laughs> Someone go in the basement and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. All right. So uh, Chelsea, and Grace, and Hope are now chatting about Adam. Obviously, because they have no story. So she was like, you know, Aubrey texted everyone and everyone was like, oh, my God. Great. Oh, my God. Braces are so cool. And then Adam said, I hated braces. Maybe he did hate braces. Okay, but you're like expecting Adam to be what mature? What her dad? Um, I mean, I guess, but like, okay, if my this is just underwhelming news, when my friend, I have a friend who just got her wisdom teeth pulled and I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. it sucked getting my wisdom teeth pulled. What am I supposed to be like? Oh, it was a wonderful experience. No, you but know? I get it. I mean, he should have been like, like a little like but pumped for her. Moron. Right. Well, that's the yeah. whole thing. This is why. All right. So she hasn't been going to grandma Donna's and right. grandma Donna never, or their lawyers didn't reply to the letter. Right. So she asked Aubrey, like, do you want to go visit Grandma Donna? And she said, not anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, I just think she just wants to be home, hang with friends, be with family. She's over it. All right, well, listen, we're like 45 minutes into the episode and she's still getting braces. I know. Th- and I'm thinking, like, how the hell long does this take? Well, we were there in real time. <laughs> right, okay. Well, that makes sense. We were there for every minute she got uh-huh. the braces. So now she goes home and she's talking to Cole about Grandma Donna. And Grandma Donna's like, hey, what weekend are we going to get Aubrey? And she replied. And I got to tell you, for the first time, I was like, good reply. That's yeah. a good reply. Mm-hmm. She was she like, like kind of like nonchalant about it. Like, rational. hey, you know, yes, like not mm-hmm. aggressive, not like angry, kind of like, oh, hey, um, you know, your lawyer should have sent a letter. You know, Aubrey yeah. doesn't really want to come every week. And the way she said it, too, she wasn't like, Aubrey feels uncomfortable at your house. Yeah. She was just like, she doesn't want designated weekends anymore. And I don't blame her. Listen, I don't blame her. I just think that the way that Chelsea goes about things, like, she's such a pussy. This is what so many people do. Just tell, just express it. Right. You- but but I understand why she's doing this with the lawyers, because it's an actual legal agreement. No, I get that, but it's like you can also speak to the woman too. Right. Well, she should have had she should have a better relationship yes. with her, but yes. she doesn't. So Grandma Donna doesn't want to go through lawyers and she's like basically like, Hey, just take a look at the letter first and then we'll talk about it. Which is fine. And then, you know, Chelsea's like, They could take us for grandparents' rights. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, this all seems like a lot to handle. And if she was in therapy, she would have done a lot better handling this and maybe even Aubrey and better help online counseling is just so easy because you don't have to wait, uh, you know, in a uncomfortable waiting room. You don't have to drive to the actual therapist. You could do it right there on video chat on the better help app. And I absolutely love it. It's worldwide. And, you know, it's you get all different professionals and there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. Like, how do you know if there's going to be a cognitive behavioral therapist on the farm square? I was just going to say in Farmville, like who knows? Right? Mm-hmm. So that's why BetterHelp is so great. So many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states, all the Dakotas, too. So <laughs> you can join over one million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash trash talk. Better help H E L P dot com slash trash talk for ten percent off your first month. Awesome. Yeah. So uh speaking of therapy, let's I talk guess. about Jade. All right, let's do it. All right. So um Sean brings Chloe to the uh Ebola Center. To the stomach virus factory. To the COVID <laughs> uh petri dish. <laughs> Yes, to the COVID uh, parade. (laughs) Right. So they go to the play center and Jade is in Vegas four wheeling, taking pictures with full gear on. Like, I don't even know if that's you. I could take those pictures and say it's me. But that's what I mean. I could just 
take a stock photo. Of yeah, someone. I think we should. We should be like, this We're was us. <laughs> all right. So Jade is talking about like all her goals, you know, because we already know that she wants to open international hair salons. Uh huh. Yes. She's going to mm-hmm. just plan this all from a TGI Fridays on happy hour two for one mm-hmm. apps and McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> and then she says, and this is a quote, we never went nowhere. Like they never traveled. Uh huh. She also, okay. but she also wants Chloe to be enlightened. Well, she's going to enlighten Chloe. So mm-hmm. that's good. Mm-hmm. That's uh, good. And you know, I'll tell you something that really enlightened Chloe is when she had to witness her father taking a drug test. <laughs> It's so enlightening. Uh So Sean's going to take another drug test. And uh, Christy, her mom, wanted to see the baby while Jade was away. And he said, no. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually a really good decision. I don't think what he did was wrong at all. And I feel like Jade was kind of pissed off about it. She was. And it's like, oh, you want your drug addict parents. Mm hmm. Yep. To go with your possible drug addict baby daddy that they just fist fought. Yes. Mm-hmm. That you don't even want to see your parents. Stop it. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand any of it. Well, Sean is wearing his MTV windbreaker. Sean's teeth are disintegrating before my eyes. They're Swiss cheese. They are Swiss cheese. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be a good Havarti, and now they're just a Swiss. They're a lacy Swiss. Uh, yeah, like a Alpine lace. Alpine lace, <laughs> lacy Swiss, reduced fat. Yeah, oh, that's the best. Low Swiss, sodium. Though. Very s- sliced thin, very good. <laughs> <laughs> with a turkey, you just roll it up, no mm-hmm. carbs. Sean FaceTimes with his friends and just basically like talks shit about her parents, but he's not wrong. He's not wrong. And he's passing all these drug tests. So it's like, yeah, you can throw stones. Good for you, Sean. Yeah. Yep. And I got to tell you, I know that he's sober because he seems it. He does. He, he doesn't seem like an asshole. He's home. His yep. eyes are home. He lives on Earth. Uh-huh. So. All right. Sean, the next day, still wearing the MTV shirt. He takes his drug test. He pees. And let me tell you, I didn't realize how intense this drug test is. Right, that it, I mean, it checks her PCP. <laughs> Math. Yeah. Barbiturates. Like, this is, I thought it was going to be like, you know, weed. cocaine or weed. Right. Yeah. It's like wow. opiates, everything. That was awesome. But imagine, she's probably spending a fortune on these tests. I know. And then Chloe is clapping for daddy passing his drug test right. in the Yay, living room. Daddy's sober. Yay. Yay, daddy. Oh, my God. Remember when you failed the drug test and then you hit mommy? Uh-huh. Remember and then Miguel had custody of me? everywhere. <laughs> and Miguel had custody of me for three weeks <laughs> in a motel that he had to pay for out of pocket? <laughs> You remember that? Out of pocket. (laughs) I love Miguel. But you know what? It's like, Jade, step up, be a better mom, and stop letting your parents around your kid. Yeah. It's like, it's turning into her own fault. She makes so many excuses for her parents. She's like, Mm -hmm. whatever. What's in the past is in the past. And it's like, um, No, I see drugs in their future. (laughs) I see them in the future and the present. (laughs) Right. Just saying. Mm -hmm. There's, there's. Take a dope napkin and wipe it up yeah. because <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Speaking of yes. dopes, let's talk about Kale. Okay. Uh, she's 14 weeks Seriously. pregnant. She's mm-hmm. due in July and she hasn't told the kids. Noel, yeah. I don't understand anything that's happening here. Okay. So, so people are like posting in the group and stuff about this. So it's like, I rewound a lot of this because I needed to understand. Okay. I did it 400 times. It yes. doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of loopholes in this and I want to know right. what, what is going on here. So she was telling, she didn't tell Wait, the Okay. Well, first told- of all, she goes to right. the ultrasound appointment to see if she connected right. with the baby because she was going to go have an abortion, but then she saw the baby and she connected with it. And let me tell you, our friend Royer in the group. Uh huh. Royer is a great fan, great fa- uh, friend, and a loyal listener. And he said something so real in the group. Oh, what did he say? He was like, Kale went for an ultrasound to audition the baby to see if he would pass as the role of her son. Wow. That's actually perfect. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, good job, baby. Yeah. Good thing you made the cut, kid. (laughs) (laughs) So that's what I didn't understand. So, okay, let's pretend this is real. Okay. Okay. Now, side note, Lincoln is crying this entire episode. (laughs) I know. Poor kid. I love him. 
So she said that mm. she told Joe and she told Tommy. Right. Uh, and this is, she just told them. Right. So she calls Kristen tell, tell her, and she said that they were both super supportive, which I was so happy about. Yeah. And she said that she had already told people she miscarried because she was going to get the abortion. So she was going to do a little Leah miscarry abortion, which right. to be totally honest with you, I don't blame her. No, I don't blame her either. I would, if I was in the public, I would totally do that. Yeah. So then, so she told Javi, but she had already told Javi. So she told them that she was pregnant just this week, you know, in the show. Right. But she had already told him that he, she got an abortion. Okay. That's what, uh, this is. So then she already told him that she was pregnant. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what she should have said is I told Javi that I kept it. Right. Not that I'm pregnant. He knew you were pregnant. Right. He knew you had been pregnant. See, but the way she words things, she wonders why like people like speculate things. Sure. Because it makes it like you told Javi first. You definitely told Javi first. Uh Why did you confide in Javi? And why did you tell him, don't worry, I'm getting an abortion, basically? I also think they're low key like BFFs. I really do. Yeah. I think that they're much closer Uh than she uh, lets Let's on. on. So she said that he did not question it. So she tells him, I guess I would say two weeks before that, right. that she was pregnant and she had an abortion. Right. And then two weeks later, she goes, hey, Javi, I'm pregnant. And he goes, congratulations. He can't ask questions because he's like, Wh- whatever. I, First I of all, know. you can't ask questions to Kale because she's going to tell you what she wants to tell you. She's not going to sure. tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. So now she said that she's questioning the circumstances around this pregnancy. She's speaking in tongues. Right. Mm -hmm. She's right. What is any of this code? Mm -hmm. Um, And she's scared that people won't understand. So now she goes to the ultrasound for the gender reveal with her friend Natalie from Central Casting. Her made up friend. Yes. Uh Uh-huh. She was going to be casted to be Janelle's friend. Then Janelle was fired. So now she's she Kale's was friend. casted to be Barbara's friend. Uh huh. Yes, she is. She's not a good look. This friend. Let me just no. Put this she's out just there. an older woman, though. Yeah, she's just not a good look. I want to know how they know each other. Um, I think it's like one of her old friends' moms. Yeah, I don't know. We should ask. I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> they go to the ultrasound. Noel. Yeah, I think it's a house. Of course it's a house. Tracy, it's not in New York. Apparently everywhere Did she New go York to West Virginia? House. Uh-huh. She went to visit Leah. She hopped in the ultrasound real quick. Mm-hmm. She must be fairly far along. If That's she's what I was gender. just thinking. Right. I mean, if don't the you have P-Shaloon? to be like three months? Yeah. I mean, if the yeah. peach saloon is that big. Right. That she saw it herself. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. All right. Well, let's talk about Leah now that we're in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. So she's still working on her book. Guess what, Leah? What? We heard you have a book. No way. Leah has a a book? book? Do you have a book? No, Leah has a book. Okay. So the girls are in the car and Leah's giving them a pep talk. Leah really legitimately thinks that she is a motivational speaker now. And any minute she's going to take out a pasta pot in that car and start burning some affirmations. But that's what I mean. What is she doing? These poor girls like... What are you even saying to them? She's trying to give them like a very stage pep talk. Uh And they're like, listen, mommy Mm -hmm. used to be addicted to drugs. She told us all. Uh Uh, So let's just be grateful we're alive and let her scream whatever she wants to say in the car. Right. Because it makes her feel good about herself. She just talks like, like she talks the way like on 90 Day Fiance, like Darcy talks, like embracing her inner goddess. Okay, like, well, what? She's like, well, that's not going to get you to win a cheer competition. <laughs> and she's like, all right, Ma, why do we have to do this for the cameras? I right. hate this. Right. So now she's going to FaceTime her friend Ashton. Yeah, I don't even know who Ashton is. Another one. <laughs> all right. So now she talks about Victoria, Victoria and Royer, not to be confused with Royer in our group. Also, side note, shout out to Michael in our group that feels like he is not heard and seen as a man in our group. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He feels like that. So, but here's the thing. Leah, I love Leah. I really do. I love Leah this season, but these are my, um, these are my complaints, right? What? Tell me. Leah, you are not a hero because you're being nice to your sister Mm -hmm. 
because she had a baby. You are not a hero because you've decided to financially sponsor her boyfriend. Like, if you want to do something, do it. But, like, you don't have to keep saying how great you are for it. Well, she, that's the reason why she's doing it, I feel. That's what I feel. Yeah, I don't love that. So, anyway, so she said that her the twins were her motivation uh, to get sober. So, was that before she had Addie? She was a uh, no. I think that it was right. Was it was no? It was Addie. when she had Addie because she said yeah. that she became hooked because right uh, when the C section when yes. they were giving her the epidural, it just okay. kept going. It, they it kept um it gave her like scar tissue in her spine and right. she was in okay. a lot of pain. All right. Well, guess what? She said that the twins are her motivation. So okay. I guess Addie, you didn't make the cut. <laughs> um. So it's just live and laugh right now. Mm-hmm. Not love. So now they film her from afar pretending she's sitting in the park FaceTiming and then they film her from afar. They were probably like, all right, pretend you're still FaceTiming (laughs) and she's holding the phone, but she's looking around because she knows they're filming her. Right. She's just trying to so funny. It's like when you're trying to take a pretend candid picture. Yes, that's what was happening. Oh, Mm -hmm. my God. All right. So straight alley has cheer, but she but Leah's going to miss it because she's going to be traveling. Did you know that Leah's going to be traveling? She's going to be traveling. She's going to be traveling. She's going to be traveling. She's got a book. She's going to be traveling. She has a book. All mm-hmm. right. So Victoria, um, she's going to talk to Victoria and she refers to Victoria to the twins as EO. Yeah, I I don't know. OK. Well, she tells Straight, she's like, maybe Miranda could help you with your makeup. And mm-hmm. uh, Straight's like, all right, I'll do my makeup. She could do my lashes. Is Miranda a cop slash lash uh, person? I think that Miranda, honestly, is just like, she's pretty hot. I think she probably has her little lash because she's not a cop anymore. Ah, okay. Yeah. Because I was going to say, like, I don't think that the, like DJ Trucker Welder cop Lou is also <laughs> lash. <laughs> So Miranda is cop lash. She's cop lash. She's cop makeup lash. <laughs> no, no, no. Just cop lash. Oh, that's right. She's just cop lash. Okay. Cop lash. Yeah. No makeup. Straight's mm-hmm. going to do her own makeup. So cop okay. lash. It's like whiplash. Okay. okay. So cop lash. Okay. It makes sense. <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, you ever drive so fast when you're trying to run from the cops that you get cop lash, cop lash instead of whiplash. You know, Tracy, you're killing them. You're killing them Thank with these you so one-liners. Much. I'll be here all night, guys. <laughs> Try the chicken piccata. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so she calls Corey and she's like, don't worry, straight alley. I'm going to set everything up with your dad for right. Miranda to do. Your- OK, whatever. And she's like, hi, Corey. Um, can you take her to her cheer? And he's like, that's fine. But and here's the thing. She's so corny. She's so corny. I mean, she's probably just trying to get him to not make a noise instead of speak to her. <laughs> she's like, um, you or Miranda can wear like make you Miranda a can make you a cheer dad shirt. Cheer dad shirt. And he's, he's like, like Yeah. Mm. <laughs> if you guys could see the way Tracy looks. He's like, you know, and he's like, he's like, he makes the noises. America. Right. Yep. <laughs> Only if it's got the flag on it. <laughs> he's not not David. Mm. Oh, he's David. I know. He's just David without <laughs> so much killing. Without without a lot of killing. Mm-hmm. So, um who's going to their six week checkup? Why uh, did I write that? Oh, the uh, baby. Kai. Kai is. Royer's baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Royer's baby Kai. Okay, so Kai's going. Um, all right. So Leah mm-hmm. is acting like she's Royer's lawyer. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> Here's the thing. You're like, I love Leah so much. I love Leah so much. Like, I love her. I don't love her so much. I think no, she's no, no. Kind I'm of saying annoying. I love th- what she's become. Okay, like, she's I like so- that. I'm I think talking she's about annoying. Oh no, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking okay. about her glow up, her change in in who she is. She has such a glow up, especially with that dark hair. So Je- exactly. So Jeremy wants to see Addie, and Jeremy right. is the voice of reason. Who would have thunk it, huh? She's like, I'm going to travel to Costa Rica, to Mm -hmm. L.A. And he's like, I don't know if you know, but there's a coronavirus. And she's like, I'm sorry. I did not learn about this in school. And then he's like, you don't want to get your grandmother sick. Your your daughters. He's like, no, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And she's like, whatever. As he puts his fingers in his mouth. Yeah. Like, oh, Uh uh-huh. That's good. No, you're you're good at preventing it. The spread. 
I will tell you this. I yeah. like Leah, but a actress, she is not. Oh, she is no actress. Just like she is no motivational speaker. <laughs> so she's <laughs> doing these um these self tape confessionals. Yeah. And you know that they're all the way after the fact. Oh yeah. Because they're like so not believable that yes. they're happening in real time, and she's just so bad at it. She looks like also she's always filming them like sitting on the floor of yes. a basement. She's like, like in her old basement you? where the dirty water would drip into the laundry basin sink. Yes, the spider filled where they would bring the children down. The slop sink for a yes. cold bath. Gross. In the slop sink. Those poor girls. All right. Well, speaking of poor girls, let's talk about Brianna. Oh, man. Okay. Who now, knew all of a sudden. Well? <laughs> yeah. Now, all of a sudden, she can't afford anything. Right. The now, sudden. the expenses are adding up. Now that you're out of the playroom. Okay, so she has her list of expenses. So mm-hmm. there's like all these different expenses for Stella's daycare, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So she put... <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I think this is fucked up, but also so funny. The, okay, what she did... She the put list, them in a group chat? The baby daddies, the group chat. This is you. This is what you I, do. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought it was really fucked up, but like in a very funny way. Oh, it's hilarious. I love that she's like... Like she she types it out. Oh, my God. I loved it. So Roxy said that if it doesn't work, she's going to go to court. And she said she doesn't basically she doesn't want them to have any rights to the kids. So Mm -hmm. the other thing is her new house is so bright and sunny. Yeah, I know it is. It's really nice. It looks like just like the only thing that bugs me is there's no character because every single house looks exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she calls. Okay, she's talking to Stelita. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Lewis is going to come. Well, first she's like, daddy's going to come. And then and I then think she's she like, didn't know who daddy was. <laughs> she's like, que? Yeah. Que? Who's that? Que paso? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, you know, Lewis, the guy with the nose ring, the and cop. She's like, and she's like, uh, mm-hmm. give me more. She's like no. the welder. She's like one more. She's like mm-hmm. the trucker. Mm-mm. She's like not ringing a bell. She's like the sushi, sushi DJ. And she's oh. like, I'm not sure. And she's like the one that gave me chlamydia. And she's like, aha, I know him because I saw him give you chlamydia. I, I watched him give I you chlamydia. I did. I was on the next, I was on the bed next to you. And then I smelled <laughs> it on you, mommy. <laughs> oh my God. No, well, I ate you. So now she's outside. Stella is riding a fake pony on the street. That was fun. I like that. I did too. So Brittany comes in, looks at the list, mm-hmm. and then she stares dead into the camera. Uh, but I love that about her. Mm-hmm. Why is she spending almost $6,000 a month? Okay, but also, like, she's spending a, like a hundred and something dollars on clothes a month for the kids. A month? Could you imagine? I mean, My- yes. No, okay, I do, I do. for me as an adult, I spent much more than that. But <laughs> as a child, do you know? And like, also, you would hope that she has clothes from Nova to pass down to Stella. Right. No, my parents did not fuck around a hundred something dollars a month. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. No shot. Never. Yeah, no shot. That's a Never. little bit much. My father so, would laugh at me. <laughs> she says to uh, she says to Brittany, why can't I just have two baby daddies that help me out? And I her love answer Brittany. was because you met one in high school and one in the club. Yeah. I mean, listen, you're not wrong. I love that Brianna rolls her eyes, too. I know. Well, it's because she knows. She knows it's true. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Lewis comes in. He just looks like a dick. OK. He looks like a dick. Now that he's not banging her, he's not he's interested. Angry. And, and yep, he's angry. He's, she's she goes, hi, how are you? And he goes, fine. And he's looking down. He like you can't even look her in the eye and be like, "Hi, how are you? He won't. Where's the baby? Where are the girls?" No, he won't look her in the face. He's wearing some dumb henny hat. Like I hate he's you. He's stupid. Yeah, he is stupid. So now Devon comes in, Devoin, with his Chick Fil A cup, and she said that she wants to show them that she pays a lot. So she wants to show them where all of her money goes. Why do you have to explain yourself? Um, I guess See, that's what I wouldn't do. No, I would, though, just to have it totally broken down. Like, just so you know, this is exactly right. What like, I, I don't for. have all this money. Yes. Uh huh. I get that. But like, at the same time, it's like your my finances are none of your business. Your business is to pay for your child. See, but that's the difference between you and most people. I am like her. I feel like I always need to explain myself. Yeah, you don't. No, Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, they look like they're at orientation for jobs as dads. Yes. I remember I had to watch all the videos at Pizzeria Mm -hmm. Uno 
And I was they sitting probably, at a table like this. After she gave them the breakdown of the finances, they probably had to watch like a sexual harassment video. Yes. And then like a hazmat video. And then like how to serve alcohol video. How to, when to know when to stop serving. Yes. Uh-huh. Exactly. You remember that? The red light, the green light, and the yellow light? Of course I do. I remember I, I even had red cards and yellow cards. And I would red card people when they had to leave. I'd be like, get the fuck <laughs> out. Like in soccer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so they're sitting there at orientation and she said and now i loved this because what? finally devoin got some credit she's like devoin spends time with stella and she calls him daddy sometimes yep sorry that's the truth and roxy is in the back sipping water like mm-hmm. kermit the frog sipping some tea i love her uh-huh she's like but that's none of my business mm-hmm so uh Devon Devoin was so regular, normal, nice to talk to. He's, He's nice. like, I do have some expenses. Mm-hmm. He's like, I have my car insurance and I have to move. And I loved what Roxanne said. What did Roxanne say? My Roxy boo we're said all family. She's, like, she's yep. like, listen, at the end of the day, we're all family. We're yep. all stuck together. And you have kids and you can get a second job. But why doesn't Lewis act like their family? Because Devon does. He does because he's yeah. more comfortable with them. He's more of a person, which is why the baby loves him. Right. That's true, too. But wouldn't you imagine like if it was me, I would feel like such less of a man if I was Lewis. Oh, I don't think he has any kind of pride. He doesn't care. He has no integrity. So now uh, Roxy, Roxy says she's like, I work six days a week. Mm-hmm. What does Roxy do? Has lupus. Oh, for full time. <laughs> full time loops. Almost. She takes a day off. <laughs> she takes a day off. Sundays are her day of rest. So mm-hmm. Devoin agrees to having a bank account and putting some money in. And listen, I think he's really going to try. Lewis doesn't agree to anything. Why? Lu- Lewis is There's not interested. No- he is not going like, to do mm-hmm. shit. Uh-huh. He's not going to do anything. He's got to go back to trucking. Like nothing's going to happen. I was thinking about being maybe like, um, a construction maybe i'll get a job doing lashes or something <laughs> then i could brianna be. do you think i could work at your lash bar oh yeah wasn't she doing brows or something maybe he's gonna do brows with her maybe maybe he'll learn maybe he's like a good artist like a tattoo artist yeah like a tattoo artist maybe he'll be doing the ink for her he'll do the <laughs> microblading mm-hmm that's He's funny. like, I'm not getting no bank account. Then you're going to know my business. Right. I don't need anybody up in my business. I don't need Roxanne to know what I do. I can't have a bank account because I get everything cash when I do a sushi DJ. <laughs> I, of course, he can't have a bank account. You know how much money he probably owes? Oh, my God. He has another mm-hmm. kid he doesn't pay for, too. Yeah, he is disgusting okay so here's the thing right like i always say obviously i don't have kids so it's easy for me to say but it's like you know you kind of want their dad in their life blah blah like if lewis was my baby daddy god forbid sure i'd be like we're just gonna find someone else yeah we're good Mm -hmm. we're gonna have you step back yep and i'm literally gonna get a boyfriend and tell her immediately to call him daddy yes agreed yep (laughs) no thank you all right well Let's talk about 16 and Pregnant, Season 6, Episode 5. Mm-hmm. Cash money. Cash money. Cash money. Cash money. That reminds AKA. me of Juvenile. Cash money records for the 99-2000. <laughs> A.K.A. Cash. Mm-hmm. She's 18 and she lives in Arizona with her grandma and twin siblings. Okay, right. let's back up. What's wrong with that sentence? That she lives with her grandmother and twin siblings? Back twin up. siblings? 18, not 16 and pregnant? 16 and pregnant. No, Cash they don't is do 18. this anymore. Mm-mm. Okay, then just a yeah. teenager and pregnant? No. Like, you're not 16. You're not 16. I don't want to see you. You're not yeah, 16. Yeah, it should just be like, right, like young and pregnant. Right. Yeah, this is stupid. All right. So she lives with her grandma and her twin siblings and her boyfriend is Nate. So she right. is a super crazy athlete. Yeah, she even she has a nice body. She's very muscular. Yeah. I mean, she's like a no joke. athlete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She plays basketball. She runs track. And there were colleges looking at her for scholarship opportunities. And she wanted to join the Navy. But then we find out she's pregnant. Right. She's 32 weeks pregnant. 
And a little backstory on her. Her dad was in and out of prison. Mm-hmm. And her mom claims right. that she had postpartum depression after one of her... See, I can't tell if she gave her up as a baby or as an older kid. The only reason why I'm going to say older kid is because later on her mother says, I gave you guys a choice. Right. But I think she gave them a choice to come back with her. Like, I don't know. It sounds very but weird. But then she says her grandma raised her. So it's like you're not being raised by a grandma if you're just also, with her for two years. Right. And also then why are the other two twins there? Who do you have postpartum? Like, anyway, whatever. Well, her mother has six kids. Yes. And her grandmother, Linda, is the most fantastic woman I've ever met Mm -hmm. in my life. And yes, I've met her because she is my friend through the television. I love her. I wish my my grandmother legitimately raised me with my dad. And I wish my grandmother was like her. I wish anyone in my life was like her. Uh She was so nice. Her grandmother is like, we are like yin and yang. She is like, I am. I love her. Like, she's so great. So um, she's uh, five months. Right. Right. And mm-hmm. they're quarantining and mm-hmm. they're going to self film. Right. So Nate and her were only together for a few months when she got pregnant with Nova. That's and a running grandma, theme on this show. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Grandma was disappointed. And now they show some B-roll because remember, they're self taping. So they're not out there. Shooting right. B-roll. Everything is these beautiful cacti. And it's like you would think this girl lived in like a Pueblo home in the middle I of the know. desert, the way that they shoot this B-roll. I know. It's so pretty. So <laughs> she said that she texted her grandma to tell her. And but her this grandma, is what all these kids do. I would too. I would too. You're so funny. I absolutely would. So she goes, what did you think was going to happen if you weren't using protection? She goes, I thought he was going to pull out. And her grandma LOL'd like, at her. Yeah, her grandma was like, well, you know, how did that work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> so now they're broken up because he has a bad temper. And he said that he blames his temper on not having a dad. So his mom can't even take him. So she sent him to his uncle's house in L.A. Right. Noel, we're four mm-hmm. minutes into this episode. I hate him. Okay. I hate him so much now i don't hate him because he has an anger problem i don't like him bad no, i don't vibes. like his personality i don't like anything about him yep Me there too. are people listen bar from mm-hmm. young and pregnant had an anger problem or has an anger problem i love bar i like him i think he's yeah. a great guy i think he's like personable and fun this yep. guy there's something so wrong with him All right. So now the baby shower is next week in arizona mm-hmm. and he's talking to his cousin kirkland aka costco brand that's the best brand, though. Honestly, right? yeah. He's talking to his cousin. I, I wish he would tell his cousin, like, I love your paper towels. Because <laughs> you know how I feel about them. Tracy loves Costco paper towels. Like, she'll tell me you have to join Costco just for the paper towels. And you got them once. How'd you feel about them? I did. I mean, listen, they felt good. But you know which ones I really liked? To be honest mm-hmm. with you, you gave Viva. me Viva. Sp- oh, or is it Sparkle? Viva. Is it Viva? They were wonderful. The one that felt like cloth. Yes. I've never yeah, had a Viva. paper towel like yeah. this. We're not. See, the thing is, I only bought them because they were out of everything else. But other than that, like we, we don't have Viva money. No, that's rich people. That's like people who wear Uggs. So you would think that you would be in that category. Wow. Noel, you need to like aim a little higher on who you think is rich. <laughs> I don't know. I have to tell you, I don't have that Viva money, but they were nice. It was nice. I felt like Kim Kardashian wiping my counters. It was nice, but I got to tell you, I do like his cousin's paper towels too. (laughs) So he said that she breaks up with him for stupid reasons and also hormones and the baby. Okay. I'm going to say she breaks up with you because you're a mean asshole. Uh Uh-huh. And also you're the worst. And also you're weird and the worst. That's the thing. Like you're weird. You wear your chain like a dog collar. I just don't. something wrong. I don't fucks with you. (laughs) So he, uh, she's 35 weeks pregnant and she wants to be friends and just co-parent with him. So he calls her from the bottom bunk. Mm -hmm. Yes. With nothing underneath the bunk. There was no protection there. There wasn't. (laughs) There was just the, and he was pulling on it Uh and he was, they're like playing games with each other. He's like, I didn't call you because you didn't call me. She's like, I didn't call you because you didn't call me. And he's like, you know, I was on a game. Right. It was just, it was lame. It was like, what does that mean? Like a video game? Yeah. I think he was playing a video game. Okay. Maybe. So he said that (laughs) maybe he said that he knows that they'll get back together. So now Mm -hmm. he's coming home and her and her sister are getting ready for the shower. Mm -hmm. Her sister's face. 
<laughs> Tracy, it's very unpleasant. It was blank. <laughs> she is, you know, so I'm watching this and I felt, I feel bad saying this, but I'm watching it and I'm like, who got her pregnant? I want to see the person that got her pregnant. Well, she's super happy that she's having a baby because her sister has a baby mm-hmm. named uh, Kyrie. Kyrie. Uh, whatever Ky her baby's Ari. name is, the baby's very cute. The baby's super yes. cute. And she said, how did you feel when you found out I was pregnant? And this is a quote. Happy because I get to match them. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming in clothing? In clothing. I don't know. In person. I don't know. I don't know. So whatever. Uh <laughs> So her mom's name is Cadence, right? Yes. Okay. So also Cash has two nose rings, one on each side. I don't have the balls to get one, let alone two. I have one. I I know. I love it. I think it looks nice. So (laughs) her grandma and her mom are FaceTiming. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) her mom said it worked out for the best, meaning her mom's sending her away Uh and giving her up. Yeah, it worked out for the best for her mom. It was like one less kid to take care of. Right? Well, three less because she sent twins Oh, yeah, to that's her. true. Uh-huh. So Nate flies home and he has a surprise. He got Nova's name tattooed on him with a rose. It is squirting blood. Okay. I'm looking at this tattoo and I'm like... If Did you I get had, it on the plane? If I had this tattoo, right, I would... <laughs> I wouldn't feel good about it. And I made you get it on on the plane in the bathroom in the plane. Yeah. They do it with a rusty nail. Yes. And then they wiped it with the Kirkland paper towels. (laughs) Yes. They clearly didn't because it wouldn't be squirting blood like that. It is not okay. Whatever is on him is not okay. Well, she said that she loves him again because this is a quote. He's committed to being a dad. So it, all it takes is a tattoo? I guess so. <laughs> He's so stupid. And I got to tell you, he needs to do something with his hair. I don't care what it is, but it ha- just pick a thing. Yeah, he's gross. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And then he talks about like snapping. Maybe he needs help. Yeah, but here's the thing. Like, does she even like him? It doesn't even no. seem like she does. Well, they're back together because they kind of like whatever on it yeah she has no emotion whatsoever he's like i want to get back together she's like yeah i was thinking about that and he's like okay good we're back together she's like okay but they don't even like kiss nothing (laughs) Nothing. so she has an outside baby shower which i was very proud of me too and afterwards nate is in a bad mood so he's throwing things at her and he's hitting her in the head with boxes he might be playing a little bit but like he's not i think he was playing but okay if I I am familiar with BFBs, big fucking mm-hmm. babies like him, and I think that he was mad that she's getting all this attention. And okay, it's like can he's I tell acting you out? Yeah, is Nate possibly struggling with his sexuality? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Just checking. About also, that. he as well as Jaden from Young and Pregnant needs a gummyotomy. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't with these gums. I just can't. I didn't even look at his face because yuck. Just so don't. she goes. She has a drive-through graduation, and her mom mm-hmm. takes her. Uh, Noel. I didn't yeah. get a drive-through graduation. I loved this idea. I know. I thought this was just really cute. I it loved really it. Was. It was yeah. great. But we find out that her mom is eyebrow deficient. What does that mean exactly? Like, you know how when you're vitamin D deficient, you don't have any vitamin D? Uh-huh. She's eyebrow deficient. Oh, okay. I was just looking at her um, Fuchi head wrap the whole time. It wasn't even on her head, though. No. It <laughs> it's like she tied it into a head wrap and then just placed it on top of her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> you're right, though. Well, well, I didn't, she didn't, real, have I didn't realize to keep it on eyebrows. her head. It slid was, right off. She, I saw her very. She had very much. She was a profile in the car the whole time. I didn't notice the eyebrows. Oh, mm. well, mm-hmm. you couldn't have noticed the eyebrows because there were none. Because they weren't there. Okay. They weren't there. I love this graduation. So, yeah, well, me good too. luck because her water broke was like kind of like that night they imply. Mm-hmm. So she could have one person, and she chooses Nate. I get that. Listen, I get it. Even though I was young, I feel like I would want a parent there because I'd be so scared. But like, that's the baby daddy. Okay, but also Nate's going to beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. If he's not in the room, that's right. You're dead. So, okay. Yeah. Pick Nate. (laughs) (laughs) I pick Nate. 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 Yeah. I just think it would be so much better with grandma there. Totally. I couldn't Mm -hmm. even imagine. So now she's walking outside. She's eating. She's four hours into labor. She's 10 hours into later labor. Um, So 641 Nate's asleep. 
14 hours into labor, she's sleeping. And then 27 hours into labor, she's 10 centimeters. And she's just waiting for the baby to drop. Three hours later, she pushes the baby out with seven pushes. Mm -hmm. No emotion. And this is what it was like. What? Do you remember um, the show on, on SNL, Saturday Night Live? Yeah. They used to, uh, what was it, Molly Shannon and whoever used to impersonate like an uh, an NPR show, like a radio show. And yes. Like, yeah. Yes. Good. Good times. Good times. Is it was Molly? Sh- I can see it in my head too, and it was always like Valium voice. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Um, hold on. Let's see what it was. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, good time. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. You're gonna do uh-huh. that. Uh huh. You're gonna do that. Okay. That's great. So funny. Delicious dish. It was called. Yeah. I remember this. It was called Delicious Dish. Um, and. It was um, like, okay, the baby comes and she's mm-hmm. like, the baby's here. Mm-hmm. Hello. She is uh, six pounds, mm-hmm. five ounces, mm-hmm. born on July 2nd. Mm-hmm. Her name is Nova Marie Sampson. 20 inches. And, <laughs> and uh, here is my baby. Yep. Like. Nothing, no emotion at all. Nothing. But I will tell you this: she did break yeah. the cycle of bad names in her family. Yes, yeah, she did. Nova Marie, that's cute. I can, I can get behind that. I'm like, oh, that's a regular name. Yep. And mm-hmm. she was born July second. So, um, now Nate is fighting with her. Right, she literally just pushed the baby out, and he's like, I'm more tired than you because you slept more. I only got a two hour nap in 24 hours. And he got mad because when her IV bag was empty, it beeped and it woke her up. It woke him up. I got to tell you, he is, and this is a perfect description, he's Mm -hmm. snotty. Yeah, he's a little brat. He's a brat. He's snotty. Mm -hmm. So she wants to split up and she breaks up with him. And now he comes over. Mm -hmm. He loses his temper. He picks up a brick, Mm -hmm. like a paver, like a paving stone, and Mm -hmm. throws it through her windshield. Okay, but she's not even mad. <laughs> she has no emotion. No. She, Grandma Lynn's is pretty pissed. And she's like, you should call the cops. And she's like, well, what would you have done if you would have caught him doing that? And she goes, I would have slapped the shit out of him. Right. Grandma's like, listen, I don't like drama around mm-hmm. babies. And she's like, actually, I don't like <laughs> drama around me. I love grandma. Uh huh. So funny. So grandma's like, listen, you got to get a restraining order. And she's like, restraining orders last for one to five years. And she goes, oh, I know how long they last. <laughs> and you already know she's not going to get one. So why are we playing this game? Yeah, you but know? everything's... So- even the discussion is calm. Grandma's not like, he's not allowed near my house. Not, no, like, I know. Not... I just feel like g- g- girls are so dumb when they're that age. It's like, well, you're that's not what grandma make said. That decision. Yeah. Grandma said she's dumb for not doing it. So she goes yeah. out with her cousin Kasha to get the baby's birth certificate. And they're supposed right. to go get a restraining order. And she's like, you know, I don't want to get the restraining order. Mm-hmm. And she, um, her cousin wants her to get the restraining order. Yeah, the cousin was like, basically, since she's like, I've told you since like the shower, I don't like him. There's something yeah. about him I don't yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, there yep. is. I don't like him either. I totally agree. So she talks with her mom. So she she basically probably made an appointment with her mom to like Skype. Uh huh. And her mom is in the car. Uh huh. And she's like, Why are you in the car? Like, you couldn't even be in a house to do this with me. No, her mom doesn't care. So she said that. Um, she really doesn't want to stir things up. So, I mean, this girl just wants peace. That, you know what? I don't blame her. I just don't blame her. And she really loves bottled water. She has like a case of bottled water behind her. Do you think she got that from Kirkland? But no, because it was a different label. <laughs> <laughs> but girl, finish the bottle before you start a new one. I know. Nova is so cute. And Nova she so decides cute. that she's going to go into the reserves. And mm-hmm. when the baby's a year old and then she'll leave her for three months for her training with grandma. Right. All right. So she hasn't seen Nate. Right. And I guess she goes to his house and they talk about co-parenting. And she's like, you know, I'm going to let you watch her while I go to work. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, well, by that time, I'll have my own place and I'll be out of high school. Okay. Well, what? First of all, I've heard this before. Second of all, you're in high school. (laughs) Why are you in high school still? Yeah, because he's not okay. Well, she's like, no, grandma is going to keep her actually Mm -hmm. while I go to training. 
And he's like, okay, uh, I want to get back together. And she's like, oh, no, thank you. Yeah, not interested. And he goes... <laughs> He goes, listen, uh, I want to apologize because I was going through something. And she goes, OK, that's good for you. Um, yeah. I got to go. And she leaves his house and he's like crying on the couch. But he is like pretend crying. He's just yeah, he's, he's not sulking. getting his way. He's right. Sulking. Yeah. So now there's a B roll of the desert again. Mm -hmm. And she's going to go see her mom and her sisters. And she said that her mom couldn't see the baby until uh, she has her two month shots. Right. So it's like, is it the mom or the baby that needs the shots? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking the whole time. I'm like, I hope her mom got her shots. Yeah. <laughs> her grandma Linda is my favorite person in the world. She's wonderful. She really is so nice. All right. So now remember, this is still Corona times. Yeah. Her sister Kendall's there and every cousin she's ever had in their kids are right. there. Why is everyone there? You don't even like kids. You give them up like Tic Tacs. <laughs> and know? now you have to have them all there. Yeah. So she's like, you know. Her mom says her her 20 year old mom is like, uh -huh. Listen, it was really hard when you were younger because I had to take you guys everywhere. You know, I just couldn't just like get up and go. And it's like you literally took them to their grandmother's house and then never took just them didn't back. come back. Right. You took them nowhere. You took them one place. Grandma's, uh -huh. Grandma's house. Yep. So she's going to go next summer to the reserves. And her mom thought it was up in the air. But you know what? It's down in the ocean because she's going into the Navy reserves. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> An idiot sorry because uh -huh. sorry. Sorry. javi did not recruit her for the air force this is the navy <laughs> reserves her mom yeah is like you're gonna leave your baby and it's like oh interesting that you think that's a big deal she's like yeah by the way i'm mm -hmm. gonna leave my baby to go to the navy reserves for three months so i can give her a better life you left me at my grandmother's house i felt unwanted and i never spoke to you again yep but she even said then, she, her mother didn't even try to, like, hug her or say, like, that's not true. I did want you. No. You know, she's like, I gave you the choice. And that's what you chose. She's like, I was six months old. Yeah, it was it was sad. She's like, if you want to stay here, then poop. If you want to go to grandma's, then pee. <laughs> she's like, well, you have a wet diaper. Grandma's house it is. Everyone get in the car. I'll take these two, too. Who wants to stay here? Tracy, <laughs> you need a nap. <laughs> I know. Not okay. She said that she felt more unsupported than other people in her school. That was sad. I when mean, she listen, said that, then you finally see a little wave of emotion with her. Linda is mm -hmm. a angel from heaven. Linda is also an angel because she is still raising twins, too. Yes. Oh, my it's God. Crazy. Oh, yeah. the baby. The baby's so cute. Oh, that baby is so cute. When that baby smiled mm -hmm. when she was taking a selfie yeah, with her. Yeah, that baby oh. is so cute. I loved it, guys. If you want to hear more of us, make sure you go to patreon.com slash slash trash talk podcast. We have stickers. We have buttons. We have pop sockets. We have one T-shirt left in an extra large. Mm -hmm. uh, so, guys, if you want merch, go to tracycarnazzo.com. I have some of it listed there. If not, message me. Also, we have for sale. Um, we have the Caroline's live show, the video of it. Hell we yeah. Have um, what else do we have? We have the live podcast where we did with Jen Del Rio, the 16 and pregnant Fun. that was on zoom. We have the recording mm -hmm. of that for sale. We also have Stacy and Darcy episodes one through seven. We did mm -hmm. that live podcast. And we also have, uh, episodes eight, nine and 10 that we just did this past weekend. So everything is for sale. Um, Make sure you go into the group. We'll have more information about that. Or you can always message me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. Noelle is at Noe Girl on Twitter and Noe underscore Bear 810 on Instagram. You can follow the show at Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter and Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. All right. All right. All right. Okay. okay. I'm on Cameo too. You can get uh, a great Cameo for Christmas, for a funeral, for Thanksgiving. It's a great for Hanukkah New gift. New Year's, for Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. All the stuff. Yeah, or even, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, share it with your family. Yeah, I could do it for your family. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>